What makes an angle right, acute, or obtuse? Let's talk about that today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now, like I said in the intro, Kanina, we're going to talk about angles today. It's actually a revamp of an older video, pero may mga ibang details na hindi ako shadong content sa pagkaka discuss ko. And I'm also going to include a quick quiz at the end of this video. So if you want to answer that free quiz, stay until the end. Okay? And just a quick little plug, if you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, you can help help us by buying our merch sa shop.teamlaika.com. Doon nakapost yung mga mugs, shirts, hoodies, and other stuff that I designed for this team. Yes, I designed all of them. So, maraming salamat sa mga bumili na, sa mga nagpapakita sa akin na they're wearing the merch. Thank you so much kasi it really makes me happy na you wear the stuff that I design. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can explain this better. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so ito yung discussion natin on angles. And in this particular video, we're going to talk about the parts of an angle and yung types ng angle. Pero i-level up natin siya. Okay? Now, let's start with yung parts muna ng angle. An angle is formed when two rays meet sa isang point na tinatawag na vertex. Now, that may be uh, parang complex or medyo parang uh, mahaba na definition. Pero para mas visual sa atin, gawin natin ganito, okay? Ang angle is formed by arms. Yung arms, yung dalawang guhit na ganyan. Tapos yung vertex naman ay yung kung saan sila nagsasalubong. Okay? Now, the idea goes like this. Kapag meron kang isang point na ganito, okay, ang ray kasi is, di ba, from one point there to isang continuous na direction right there, that is a ray. This is also a ray. Okay? So, yun yung ibig sabihin na siya ay formed by two rays na nag-intersect sa isang vertex or nagaling sa, nag-originate sa isang point na tinatawag nating vertex. Okay? Now, Yung angle dyan is not just this shape, no? Yung angle din is this, yung measurement nito. Okay? Now, minsan ang tawag dyan, di ba, is in, it's measured in degrees or minsan in rotations. Okay? Yun yung tinatawag natin parts ng isang angle. Okay? So, again, these are the arms. Kung saan sila nagtagpo, yun yung vertex. And then, this right here is the angle itself. Now, dito na tayo dun sa types of angles. In the original video, which I posted years ago, we talked about yung acute, right, at saka obtuse angle. We'll talk about them pa rin naman ngayon. Pero the thing is, we're going to level up things kasi we're also going to talk about two other things, which is yung reflex angle, at saka yung straight angle. Okay? So, there are multiple types of angles, depende rin sa um, level ng pinag-uusapan. Usually, kapag grade school lesson, itong tatlo lang pinag-uusapan. Pero kapag tumatanda na tayo, pag nasa high school na tayo, we talk about reflex tsaka straight na rin. Kaya pag-uusapan na natin siya ngayon. Now, para mas better i-illustrate ito, we're just going to use yung first na pinaka-line natin. Okay? So, dito natin ipa-plot lahat sila para makita nyo sila in comparison to one another. Let's start with yung pinakasimple, which is yung acute angle. Now, if we have something like this, okay, ang acute angle natin would be this angle right here. Now, ang measurement ng acute angle is dapat smaller than or less than siya sa 90 degrees. And when we say it's less than 90 degrees, ibig sabihin, hindi siya pwedeng maging saktong 90 degrees. Okay? Now, ano ba yung saktong 90 degrees? Now, bago natin yung pag-usapan, pag-usapan muna natin kung paano better matandaan yung acute. Okay? Ang acute, if you think about the word cute, di ba? When we say cute, ang isang tao, pinipinch natin yung cheeks niya kasi ang cute-cute niya. And if you notice, when you pinch yung cheeks ng isang tao, your fingers will also form yung angle ng acute angle, which is yung maliliit na na shape na ganito. Okay? So, that is an acute angle. Another th way to remember it would be to look at the letter A. Okay? Lalo na kung big letter A, 
di ba? Yung big letter A na yan also forms an acute angle. Ito, yan. Acute angle din siya. Okay? So, just so you can remember it better. Again, pag acute angle, it has to be less than 90 degrees. But, and again, we are leveling things up a little bit. It shouldn't be equal to zero as well. Okay? Ibig sabihin, kapag zero yung angle, ibig sabihin, isang guhit lang siyang ganyan, di ba? Walang nakatangat na ray. Zero angle lang talaga yon, Hindi yon acute. Okay? Iba yung zero sa acute. Now, ano naman na yung right? Yung right angle will be formed kung meron kang line or meron kang ray na directly na perpendicular doon sa unang guhit. Okay, ano ibig sabihin nyo nun? Yung, yung angle na ito na mafo-form, which will color na blue para mas visual, this right here, okay, is what we call the right angle. Ang right angle equal siya sa 90 degrees. Okay? And again, it has to be exact. So, diretso or exact na 90 degrees siya. Hindi katulad ng acute na may range siya ng mula 1 degree hanggang 89 degrees. Eh, na acute angle yon. Yung right ang angle, saktong 90 degrees siya. Okay? And usually, kapag nakadrawing siya, instead of us an arc like this na nakadraw, naka ang nakalagay ay yung square. Okay? The idea is, kasi kapag meron kang perfect na square, each of the internal angles known will also form 90 degrees. So, ito, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Now, kung medyo nagulan kayo sa internal angle and external angle, we have a full discussion now on how to find internal angles and how to find angles then using internal angles. Ililink ko dito yung ating playlist ng angles so you can watch that. Okay? Para mahanap natin yung mga angles na nawawala sa puzzles. Now, yung, yung lesson na yun, hindi lang sa school lumalabas yan sa marami rin college entrance exams at marami pang aptitude exams lumalabas yun. So, I really suggest that you watch it after you've seen this video. Okay? So, we have the right angle as 90 degrees. Now, ano pa yung isang angle na ma-form just by drawing itong dalawang lines na ito? We have the obtuse angle. Yung obtuse angle is an angle that is, it has to be greater naman then, 90 degrees. Okay? Ito yung common natin na definition ng obtuse angle. Pero just so you have a visual uh, clue kung ano yung obtuse angle dito, ito siya. Okay? Yan. Iniba ako ng color para mas makita ninyo and to train you rin for your quick quiz later. Now, ano ba yung obtuse angle? Again, it is higher than 90 degrees. So, makikita mo, mas malaki siya kaysa dito. Lumagpa siya dun eh. Okay? But, the thing is, hindi naman din siya dapat aabot sa 180 degrees. Yun yung limitation ng obtuse angle. So, again, it is greater than 90 degrees, pero dapat mas maliit siya sa 180 degrees. Okay? Now, sometimes hindi ito na may mention, pero kailangan natin pag-usapan yan. Okay, so again, yan yung ating obtuse angle. Now, ilalagay ko na rin dito, dun sa acute, babalikan natin kanina. Sabi natin, ang acute angle is uh, less than 90 degrees, but it has to be greater than 0 degrees. Okay, so tinataas natin yung level ng definition. Bakit? Kasi we have to introduce yung dalawa pang kinds ng angles. Yung first one is what we call the straight angle. Na ano ba yung straight angle? Ang straight angle is just yung buong ito. Okay, bakit? Now, if you notice, itong line na ito ay diretsyong line siya or straight line siya. Now, pag, nag, pag straight line yung form ng isang angle, ang measure mo dito ay 180 degrees. Kasi ang straight angle is just directly 180 degrees. Okay? So, kumbaga, ang right angle... 90 degrees, ang straight angle is dalawang right angle, straight angle 180 degrees. Okay? Now, may isa pa tayong term na hindi na pag-uusapan, which is the reflex angle. Ano naman yung reflex angle? Now, I want you to look at the obtuse angle first. If you notice again, malaki siya, more than 90 but less than 180. Ang perfect example of a reflex angle would be kung ang kukunin natin ay yung kabaliktaran ng angle na ito which is this part right here. Let me draw it para mas visual yung reference. Kung ito, kukunin ko paikot dito. Okay. Yan, sorry lang, I wish I could 
make the curve a little bit better. Sorry, I'm drawing kasi on keynote lang. Yan. Okay. So, kung ito, from here naman to here, and you would notice it's more than 180 degrees, kasi nga, ito 180 degrees na agad eh. Lumagpas pa siya doon. Okay? Kung lumagpas pa siya doon, ibig sabihin, ang reflex angle has to be greater than 180 degrees. Okay? But, the thing is, again, ang alam kasi natin, ginagawa natin, no? Isang buong ikot na yan, or revolution na yan, isang buong bilog na yan, that right there is 360 degrees. So, of course, alam natin na hindi siya dapat hihigit dun sa 360 kasi ano yun, umikot na siya, uli pa balik. Okay? So, again, ang reflex angle natin is 180 degrees. Yun yung pinagkaiba nilang lahat. So, kung titignan natin mula dun sa measurement ng angles na ito, ang pinakamaliit is the acute. Sunod is right with 90 degrees. Tapos yung obtuse angle, which is now greater than 90, pero less than 180. Tapos yung straight angle natin, which is 180 na diretsyo. Tapos yung reflex angle natin, which is greater than 180. etong angle na ito, right here. Okay? So, ganito siya natin ma-illustrate para mapagtabi-tabi natin siya para masudaling tandaan. Okay? And now, um, ang best way for us to see if nag-gets nyo yung idea ng kung ano pinagkaiba ng acute, right, obtuse, at saka straight, at saka reflex is to have your quick quiz. So, here's what we're going to do. I have a diagram right here. I want you to find each angle na nandoon na naka-illustrate and I want you to determine kung siya ba ay acute, straight, obtuse, or reflex angle. Okay? And if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Okay, let's see how you did. Alright, so uh, ito na yung ating uh, questions, no? Eh, meron tayong A, B, C, D, at E. Iniba-iba yung, ko yung colors para mas visual yung representation. Of course, ito yung A. Sorry lang, hindi na nakita kasi masyadong maliit. Pero yan yung una nating tanong. Ano ba yung A? Now, if you notice, this right here, it's too small to be a right angle, no? Kasi kung right angle, dapat box din siya. So, this is an acute angle. 
Okay, A for acute siya. Now, yung letter B is this. Itong angle B, if you notice, ito kasi is a right angle, right? Pero lagpas pa siya dun. So, ibig sabihin, it is not a, an acute angle, it's not a right angle. Ang tanong na would be, ano siya, obtuse ba siya or reflex? Now, again, hindi naman siya lumampas dun sa 180 degrees. Kasi kung 180 degrees, kung dito siya nagsimula, dapat straight yung line dito, yun yung 180 eh. Dapat dito pa siya banda. So, ibig sabihin, hindi siya lumagpas sa 180, siya ay obtuse. Okay? I hope you got that right. Yung C natin here, you notice this line here is straight. Yun ay pinakamalaking clue natin. So, dito siya sa side na ito. Hanggang dito, right? Yung buong straight na line. So, ibig sabihin nun, no, this is a straight angle. Okay? And if you can hear Haley snoring, uh, sorry na lang kasi katabi ko siya and ayun, masarap ang tulog ng baby girl. Okay, dito na tayo sa letter D. Yan. Letter D natin is this right here. Okay. Tapos nilagay ko na rin na mark dito yung meron siyang ganitong symbol na parang square. Bakit? Kasi ang D is a right angle. Okay? Now, it leaves us with yung E. Yung E starts here hanggang dito up. Ito straight to, no? So, ibig sabihin lagpas siya ng 180 kasi it goes around here. So, dahil lumampas pa siya sa 180, pero hindi naman siya humabot dun sa 360, no? Lumampas lang siya sa 180. This is our reflex angle. Okay? So, again, ang ating sagot ay acute, obtuse, straight, right, tapos reflex. I hope you got all of these correctly, no? If you didn't, that's okay. I'll be posting more questions naman on my uh, social media accounts. If you follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at Laika Maravilla on Instagram and at Team Laika for the older quick quiz questions. Dun sa ating Instagram story, dun ko pinapost yung ating mga iba-ibang exercises at quizzes para ma-refresh kayo. And if you have a TikTok account, you can also follow me on TikTok. It's at Team Laika for the English and Math videos on TikTok. And uh, at Laika Maravilla for the more personal stuff, yung mga motivation videos, advice, tips, at iba pa. Okay? Uh, we already have about, I guess, mga 400 videos rin on TikTok that you can start binging on. If uh, you want an extra dose, maikli lang yung mga videos na yun, pero I'm hoping you still learn from them. And uh, I'll see you guys online. Okay? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and not mag-exam din sila. Tapay masalami tayo matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, join the online or live review events, and of course, ma-update kayo sa mga kung ano-ano pang mga uh, nakaschedule nating plans for this team, you can go to www.facebook.com slash team like for more information. Alright? Thank you guys. Subscribe na if you haven't yet para hindi nyo mamis yung mapaparating pa mga videos. We have more coming up. And as always, sa channel na ito, lagi natin sinasabi never stop learning, adja adja kaya niyan, I'll see you in the next video and bye for now